let us now go with the last query create a calculated field to show the average revenue per state and display which is profitable and non profitable state so we shall go to power bi so click on new sheet click on transform data okay so here we have to first select uh, average revenue okay we have to take average revenue so we'll be having highest revenue as uh, 1000 and above below as uh, 800 something will be below okay okay so here we have to first right click on this table and create a duplicate of this particular table okay after doing that you have to rename it as duplicate rename it as duplicate once you do that go to this particular table you have in the menu bar you have group by option which is available okay group by option is available click on group by so here choose basic select state select state okay so here i have to choose average give column name as average revenue okay what operation i have to perform average operation and the column is total okay total need to be selected total or revenue based on your table click okay after doing that you will be able to see after some time you will be able to see only two rows two columns will be visible that is state name and the average revenue per that state go to your primary table okay you have combines field which is available under home click on merge queries so it is like something like we are merging two different tables based on a particular condition so here my condition is state based on the state i have to merge both the tables select state in this first first table primary table select a duplicate table select the state once you do that here it is estimating which are the how many matches will happen click okay so now in the main table you will be able to see a column called as duplicate and table here you have a outward arrow symbol which is available click on this unselect state unselect use original column name and click okay so that the values are imported from the duplicate table click on this outward symbol you have to uncheck state uncheck use pre previous table names so that you can see the average revenue which it is getting generated after doing this click on close and apply close and apply it requires some time to load the values so it will load both the tables okay it will load both the tables the sales table and the duplicate table both the tables will be loaded so whatever the operation you perform next will be from your primary table only do not use the duplicate table it is not required we have just used it to create the data okay so right click on this average revenue here you have new column which we will have to create profitability status which we have done in the previous tableau the same way create new column create new column here you have to name the column as profitability profitability status okay so if average so if you just give average av it shows you the table name with the average revenue select that particular one greater than or equal to 1000 then i'll consider it as profitable state okay i'll consider it as profitable else it is non profitable okay close this particular one okay here you have a green color right symbol click on that commit button close button okay these are the few things which you have to change now we will select a stacked bar chart stacked bar chart okay i want states so based on the states i have to categorize states on to y axis average revenue on to x axis okay 
So here it should not be sum. Okay. If you, you should just uh, click on the zero mark, summarization, select average. After which profitability status on to legit. Okay. Here you can see these are the things, and then go to format. Click on the data labels. So which is having the highest revenue? These are the five states which are having highest revenue. And the others which are having the lowest revenue, it is differentiated with the color. This is our last query, so which we'll be doing, and change the size of the title, position of the title. So this is our last and sixth query which need to be completed in Power BI.